morning everyone, we're Nicole and Miko. Welcome back to our Discovering the Philippines series. In our last video, we were exploring Manila with Nicole's parents and getting their first impressions of the Philippines. Since then, we headed to the airport and hopped on a short flight to one of the most beautiful destinations here in the Philippines, Palawan. Palawan is one of the top tourist destinations here in the Philippines because of its incredible beaches and beautiful blue water. So in today's video, we are going to show you guys what a day in like our life hanging out here in Palawan is like, take you on a snorkel tour, show you around the place we've been staying, and just enjoy the incredible beauty of Palawan. So while we were doing an intro, the man came back with all the toilet paper we requested. So I guess it looks a little funny walking around with toilet paper. It's not just for us though, it's for the whole family. The whole family. You okay. just, just need a small restock. <laughs> but to give you a little background of where we are right now, Palawan is a large island province in kind of the central western part of the Philippines. And we are on the northern island called Coron. We are the top top end of the island where it is really secluded. So there's not much around us except for this beautiful Airbnb. Welcome to our space. Okay, so I'll show you the kitchen first, which my dad did. Cooking us all brekkie. You guys remember dad from the last episode. Okay, here's quickly the dining room. Air conditionings, which are blowing on my head, which is so nice. A little living room. I'll show you the balcony back there in a second. But here is the first bedroom. <laughs> Usually there's nice views out here, but it gets really steamy when we sleep in here at night. And then a washer. One of two washrooms in here. And we've got this like long corridor, look at that, of all of these cabinets. It's so nice actually. And then this is the master bedroom, which of course my parents are using because, you know, seniority and all that. They've also got a nice full washroom here. And then their room actually leads out to the balcony. You can access this from another spot as well, but I love that from their room you can like just go through these balcony doors. They just open them up in the morning and they get these incredible views. We've been hanging out here for the last couple of days and just really enjoying time with my parents, hanging by the pool, which we'll also show you when we head down to catch our boat for snorkeling in a few minutes, which is gonna pick us up literally on our on our beach right here. We're feeling very spoiled mm -hmm. today. So Nicole and the family are just getting ready, but I figured I'd give you a little bit of a tour outside the property. So it's actually really, really big. It's a big white building. It seems to stand out from the surrounding area. There's so much greenery and beautiful beach around us. But you have a beautiful park over there. There's a nice bar area here. Yeah, it'd be perfect for parties, but there's not really enough rooms in the building um, to host that many people. But like, this would be an ultimate party place because yeah look at this pool massive pool it is so beautiful it's uh, so clean and pristine and blue and then at night too the pool just lights up with beautiful blue LEDs it's so gorgeous and then yeah there's the building up behind me right there so we have a corner unit of the building on the second floor uh, there are other units I think one maybe two units to make up the rest of the building um, but so far nobody's staying there so we've had this place basically to ourselves for the past few days and it's just been so magical because uh, yeah for four or five people with this giant pool uh, yeah it feels very very nice it's also an infinity pool so you can look over the edge and see the beautiful beach are you ready to go yeah oh Nicole. it's time to go we gotta go, <laughs> we gotta go. <laughs> Really cool way to see the water. It's so open, and you have like a 360 view mm -hmm. of everything. Yeah, you're right. That's kind of cool. I've actually never seen a boat like this. This is actually really cool. I think Thailand has similar boats, but they're very long. They're not covered. And they're not covered. But I like these boats. Very chill. Very tropical feeling. So the sea here, it goes. It's like super shallow for like 200 meters off the shore, and then there's a huge drop, like this big shelf which is right here, which looks very scary. And like the water color totally changes because now it's very deep. I think it's, how deep is this? Like 12 meters deep or something like something that? Like All that. of a sudden it just drops 12 meters, so it looks really cool. Woo! Scary. If you guys have been watching 
watching this Philippine series for a little while now, you know that I'm a Filipino. I was born in the Philippines, but I was raised in Canada. So I don't really know too, too much about the Philippines. I've never been to Palawan, but somehow I just feel so happy and proud to take Nicole and her family here to show them just such beautiful uh, beaches and waters and such a beautiful part of the Philippines. I feel like I'm touring them around to a place that I know very well, but I really don't know it. I just feel like I have this connection to this area. Welcome to the first island of the day. Thank you, Paul. Yes, sir. Thank you very much, Paul. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, wow. What do you guys think? Wow. Paradise. Not bad. Not bad. <laughs> Not bad. Not bad. Not bad. Wow. Is that like your postcard? Yeah, I feel like I'm in a postcard. That's a good way to put it. All right, my parents are in. They say it's really actually deep. They already can't, I mean, mom's only like four foot nine, but she already can't <laughs> touch. <laughs> I thought we were at paradise waking up this morning, but uh, I have to redefine that now. <laughs> I feel like this is incredibly so beautiful. paradise -like. Paradisey. Paradisey. I can't, just can't believe it, because I, I know that the Philippines uh, has been known to be one of like the most picturesque, most beautiful, postcard worthy, yeah. beautiful beach destinations. Mm -hmm. And um, it's one thing to like see in a postcard, it's another to <laughs> actually be here. This is so gorgeous. And the sand, oh my god, it's like powder. Anyway, we're in heaven. Yeah. But I'm so hot, I wanna get in the water. Okay, let's go. <laughs> How's the snorkeling been here? Snorkeling's cool. The thing is, is um, I'm having a very difficult time <laughs> holding the camera and snorkeling. <laughs> but it's cool. There's a lot to look at. There's tons of coral. Although it all looks the same color because the sand's on top of it. Okay, so I really feel like we undersold that to begin with because it turns out we just had to go deeper than we were originally. But as soon as we got there, the Insta died. So you didn't get to see any of that footage. <laughs> turns out this is an amazing snorkel spot. It got way clearer when we got further out and then there was no like coral on the bottom, so you're actually able to like properly swim. It was beautiful. Like just, I wish I had footage for you, I'm sorry, but it was stunning. Yeah, that was insanely beautiful. I wish we had the camera to show you, but like the fish there, the coral, I felt like we could probably stay here another few hours to really explore the different pockets of a beautiful reef out there. I think we just like discovered it so late. Like I think we're just like, we stayed too shallow for too long. Yeah. And then I was like, oh my God, what is this? <laughs> There's more. <laughs> Okay, but we are getting back on the boat yeah. because we have another island to discover. Black Island. So we've got the rocks just like coming straight out of the sea. And then just this beautiful little pristine bit of, bit of beach. I can't believe this is here. I can't believe this exists just like normally all over the world. It's crazy. It looks fake. Like I actually, I honestly keep looking at it thinking like, did someone like filter my eyeballs? Like what happened? It feels fake. This is the latest augmented reality filter where it's just <laughs> filters your brain from seeing what's actually real. Well, it could be like dry sunglasses on and they're like distorting the color or something, but I forgot <laughs> my sunglasses, so I don't have them. It's wild. It's so beautiful here. Mm. So we're on the next island. Uh, we're not jumping into the water quite yet because uh, we're still 
resting a little bit, grabbing some food. Nicole's got, uh, what is that, hun? Mm, Philippines mangoes from Philippines, which is just so cool. This is actually my first one, we haven't had one yet. What a more, uh, there's not a more fitting place, I don't think. Look at that. Yeah, mm -hmm. cut it the Filipino way. Yeah, I gotta cut the Filipino way. Miko taught me how to cut mangoes this way. Yeah. I think maybe on our honeymoon, like eight years ago. And I'm never going back. Look at that. Yeah. Isn't this clever? <laughs> oh my god. Sweet. It's so good. Mm hmm. Oh, this is heaven. Mm hmm. Smaller guy? Oh. It's really tiny over there. No, no, there's the big one. You're missing the big one. See, they're right behind the little. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, our guy was saying that this island, Black Island, also has a small cave system in it. And uh, we are actually able to just walk around uh, the inside of these caves and check them out. Into the cave we go. Even better in bare feet Ooh. than flip flops. Wow. Cooler in here. It is cool. This is cool. It smells like, um, it smells familiar, like a part of the zoo, like a section of the animals in the zoo. <laughs> It smells like that in here. It smells like a locker room. <laughs> no. It's like really musty in here. This is cool. You don't want to swim? I want to swim. Did you? Really? Oh, don't do that. So apparently you can swim in this stagnant pool and uh, I think Nicole's going to jump in. Are you coming? Um, I'm holding the camera. <laughs> <laughs> Nicole and I are now in the water. Mom and Daddy coming in? And uh... <laughs> That's the, a resounding the, no. The chickens over there. <laughs> <laughs> What's freaking me out is that I can't see if this is the end or not. Oh, I think that is the end. I don't know, I can't tell a cave. What is that? Cave, cave Brave Dad got in. <laughs> oh, it's actually really nice in here. It's not bad, right? No. It's like a little scary that way. It's a little weird. Yeah. Okay, so I think the coolest thing about this is that the front of it to me looks like in front of like, like I feel like I'm looking out to a dragon's mouth. You see? I don't know if that's a great view. <laughs> but I don't know, to me I feel like I'm inside the dragon's mouth and I'm like see through his mouth. It's pretty cool. Snorkeling oh. fun. <laughs> that so was amazing. Good. Salty and good. Salty. <laughs> we could have stayed all day, but at some point you gotta call it quits. That was an amazing, amazing snorkeling adventure. I can't believe this island is here every day, looking the way it does. <laughs> it's day. so beautiful. You gotta come here. That's a very cool place. That was amazing. We are back. We are absolutely wiped. I'm so tired. Although part of me wants to jump into the pool. <laughs> I yeah. would just love to have something Fair enough. fresh, fresh water. Or a nap. <laughs> or a nap, one of those, nap. or a nap in the pool. I think this was an awesome instruction to Palawan though. Did I say that right? I think so. I, I hope we're saying that right. I'm trying so hard to say it the way that Miko says it, which is the Filipino way. We're trying to get used to the Filipino way. I think yeah. it's correct. We've had a great day. Mm -hmm. uh, we'll leave you guys there. If you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Mm -hmm. If you want to see more videos of the Philippines yeah. and us exploring and discovering more of the yeah. Philippines, make sure you hit subscribe. Yes, I thank you guys so much for joining us today. I should also say that there are incredible, incredible sunsets here all right from our beach, right from the Airbnb that we're staying at. So I think we're going to leave you guys with that because they're stunning. Thanks for watching.